Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make cheddar black pepper waffles with sausage and apple maple agrodolce. Agrodolce means sweet and sour sauce. First, put one tablespoon of canola oil on a cast iron skillet, medium high heat. We need to slice sausage. After cutting up the sausage, place the sausage in the cast iron skillet. For about eight to 10 minutes, stirring occasionally. Stir until browned and set aside. Once the sausages have browned, you need to set them aside. And be careful because the cast iron gets really hot. First, you have to peel the apples. And now, we chop them. We will be using these apples in a second. In a medium nonstick pan, Put one tablespoon of canola oil and take onions and coat them with the oil. Add the apples two tablespoons of maple syrup, and some salt. and stir frequently. Continue to cook until the onions and apples are very soft and caramelized, which is approximately 10 minutes. Add a quarter cup of apple cider vinegar. And your thyme and parsley after removing the skillet from the heat. And then add your sausage. Now we've made our toppings. The juices in the skillet will be used for the agrodolce, so make sure to keep them in. I'm using a spoon with a few holes in it, so the juice just flows right through. Cover the bowl with tin foil to keep everything on the inside warm. To the juices left in the pan, add six tablespoons of maple syrup, and three tablespoons apple cider vinegar. Put back on low heat and stir. Add some butter salt and pepper and stir a couple times to make the agar dolce. Now let's just add the agar dolce to a little pouring thing. Cover with tinfoil and keep warm. 
let's start making the cheddar black pepper waffles. Put a baking rack in a baking sheet and put in an oven preheated to 200 degrees. Whisk together flour, white cheddar, baking powder, salt, baking soda, in a large bowl. Whisk together buttermilk, melted butter, hot sauce, and eggs in a medium bowl. Add the wet ingredient to the dry ingredients. Whisk until just combined. It's okay if it's a little lumpy. Preheat your waffle iron according to the manufacturer's instruction. Use a brush and brush your waffle maker with butter. Only fill a little bit of your waffle maker. And make sure it's in the center so it doesn't overflow. Close until golden brown. Waffles would be misshapen and not perfectly round. They will be hopefully crispy. You just transfer them to the oven on the rack. To serve, put two waffles on the plate. Add the sausage and apple mixture. And then add the sauce. These waffles are perfect for any Sunday brunch, and I would request it for any family. The sweet and sour agrodolce really puts it all together, and it really gives it the flavor. Thank you for tuning in. I truly hope you enjoyed this. My name is Andrew Vining, and you can follow my cooking Instagram. The username is Andrew underscore eats underscore. See you next time.